Good evening, my name is Sean Pesetta, I'm principal of Dana West Junior Senior High School. Uh, tonight we're going to be giving you an overview of, of our work in LFS. Um, two years ago, Port Byron embarked on a multi-year K-12 initiative with one goal in mind, improving student achievement. To reach this goal, we realized that we needed to create a professional culture that required two key components exist in our school. Number one, the consistent use of proven research-based learning strategies. And number two, that these strategies were pervasive across all grade and content levels. Those two words, consistent and pervasive, are the words that best describe the vehicle we are employing to reach our goal, the Learning Focus Solutions Framework. Learning Focus Solutions, or LFS, has brought a consistency in the K-12 instructional program at Port Byron that is unprecedented in our district. And tonight, you'll have the opportunity to see and hear for yourself how the implementation of the LFS framework is making a difference where it counts, getting results in the classrooms. Hi, I'm Amy Elcock, and I'm a sixth grade teacher this year at AA Gates Elementary School. Hi, I'm Dan Robbins. I teach unified science and uh, biology. Every once in a while, I'll pick up a little earth science as well. My name is Katie Robinski, and I'm the new second grade teacher at Port Byron, um, AA Gates Elementary. Hi, I'm Rachel Dungan, the fourth grade special ed teacher. Hello, I'm Debbie Slavodiak, and I teach second grade. I'm here to talk about learning focus. Um, I love the format. I think it's a wonderful format. I was um, I had a training over the summer. I did the social studies and the science. And I believe that the benefits for teachers are it really keeps me organized. It keeps me aware of what's expected of the children in the future and things that I um, need to do and things that I need to plan to get them ready. The biggest thing for me was this summer when we did uh, curriculum mapping. We went through a couple of days of training and we were developing the new geometry course. With the curriculum mapping process from Learning Focused, we were able to drag and drop things into units and it clarified the, the material that needed to be covered and it organized it rather well. I'm really excited to be using Learning Focused in my classroom this year. It gives me very direct instruction. It makes sure that I'm targeting the objective and when I write my lesson plans, I can look and see what my objective is, what my goal will be, and what I want my student outcome to be. It's been great. I came right in and I had a whole curriculum already set for me for math, science, and social studies. So it's nice to be a new teacher and know exactly what's expected of you for each lesson, for each day. We have a whole calendar set out and every day you know what part of the curriculum you're supposed to cover. Since our math and science curriculum have been mapped, all the fourth grade teachers have been able to be on the same page. We've gotten to use the same unit essential questions and lesson essential questions. So all the students in all the classes are right on track with each other. One of the main things we use in the learning focus program is our essential question. And this may change every day, it may change every couple of days, it depends on where the teacher is at with the curriculum. Basically, the kids will walk in and they'll see the essential question posted on the board and they'll know what's expected of them for the day or the week or the couple of days and um, they'll be able to answer this as they go through the lesson. Our essential question today is, what are the layers of the earth and what are they made of? Today we just started our first lesson for the math curriculum. The kids were already familiar with the unit essential question when I said those words, so we based um, the lesson right off of that and then at the end, I brought them back to that unit essential question and they were able to answer it. So it was a nice feeling to know that you teach the lesson and they get out of it what you want them to. I'm just going to talk about some ways that teachers and students in our fourth grade classroom use the unit essential question and the lesson essential question. So some things we do before each lesson, we go over the unit essential question to bring everyone on the same page and we ask for student responses to this question and we continually talk about it every day. Then we focus in on the lesson essential question and see if we've learned more from the previous day that we can add to answer that. And students respond really well because it's all there for them to see and they can continually build their knowledge. The essential questions are always right there in front of them and they know that once they have successfully been able to answer all of those that they're ready for the unit exam. You can immediately see um, um, the, the essential questions. You can see that the students are being uh, presented with the purpose of their learning and uh, once kids start to understand 
uh, why they're there and the purpose of what they're, what they're expected to do that day. I think there's a great benefit to that. For math and science, we have different vocabulary words that we use and those words are put up for the kids to have for the whole entire unit. As I'm teaching new concepts, the vocabulary words are also displayed and I also have the children go over them before each lesson so they know exactly what they've learned the previous, um, previous day. Word splashes, quite simply, are, you know, if you, th if you throw a word, let's say hypothetically on the board, and then students will volunteer to put words that they think are somehow related to that word next to it, around it, in some sort of a, in some sort of a um, pattern. It doesn't have to be a pattern, it can be just random. Um, the idea of this, though, is to make connections between that word and what, and words or terms or ideas that they already know. Um, we want, we want to find out how much they already know about a given concept, and this will give the teachers a place, a jumping off place. Okay, also posted with my essential question are the vocabulary words from that unit. And these will stay on the boards just so that the kids constantly see them and are familiar with them. So when we come upon them in a lab or our reading, they'll recognize that that's an important word that goes with our science essential question. You can see on the learning map where vocabulary is a very important part of the learning focused program along with our essential question, our main concepts, um, and the, also the lesson essential question, which is more specific. Maybe we would talk about stomach. Okay, if we've reviewed and gone over some of the ideas, maybe it might be as simple as go over to Pat over here and, you know, put the name tag on the stomach, something along those lines. Over the summer, we learned about the extended thinking strategies. I think those are really going to help our scores on Regents exams. The Regents are kind of going more towards that way where the questions aren't straightforward. Uh, graphic organizers to me gives the kids a visual means in order to uh, place ideas with pictures uh, that will increase the retention of that information. Acceleration um, is, is again an LFS strategy that, that we've started to employ this year, um, which is, the easiest way for me to explain it is pre-teaching. Now it's, it's not pre-teaching, it's, it's previewing, but I think that gives you an idea of what it is. Um, it'll, it allows the students to get an idea of what's going to happen next. Um, some of the students who are at risk who, who really need a little um, some academic intervention services, for example, have, have already benefited from, from this strategy. At least I've, I've seen that happen in my classroom. Um, it, it again provides them with information. Um, it, it's almost a scaffolding. It provides them with information from which they can build on um, or upon. This, this previewing provides them with, again I'm using the term scaffolding, um, pre-existing knowledge so that they can build upon that in class um, which which allows them a sort of a leg up allows them to to be at the same pace or, or maybe even ahead of some of the other students learning focus has helped us a lot with our summary strategies in in order to help us assess our students so every day when the students leave they're either answering some part of the lesson essential question or some component that's going to help them get build their knowledge We're really excited about the LFS coaching initiative, which we, uh, is a brand new thing that we're starting this year. Um, our coaching process is about our teachers saying, we want to get better collectively. Uh, it's about sharing ideas on a daily basis in between the big training uh, events that we've been involved with. Talking about what them, solving problems, and creating connections across grade levels and content areas. Uh, it's about making planning for success a team exercise instead of an isolated process. Yeah, so we just started the coaching program this year. It gives us a chance to kind of work with our peers rather than having an administrator just come in and give us a formal observation of what we're doing. You can have a fellow teacher come in and kind of give you a critique, help you with things that you can improve on, maybe share some ideas. One of the advantages I think of LFS is everyone's going to be on the same page. 
you've got students in the elementary school learning this standard way of lesson planning with the essential questions and the activ activating strategies, the guided practice, and they're going to be taking that all the way up through high school. You're going to have kids in the elementary classes that are learning math basically the same way that they're going to learn it in high school. And it's going to allow for us to be on the same page. People are going to be doing the same things, even if I don't know exactly what they're doing down there, I know that we're going to be lined up as far as the LFS goes. Thank you very much for watching. We hope this has been informative for you, and we look forward to sharing uh, all of the great successes that we anticipate we'll experience this year later in the year. Thank you.